Thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new today i'm back with a brand new mobile home renovation video and this is going to be a good one i'm working in our middle bedroom that we use for pantry and utility space it's also a miscellaneous catch-all space for like tools and such so it is so much out of order right now we can barely walk in here and it's just overall hard to get to what we need I'm also so excited to be partnering with Cricut on today's video. I will be using my new Cricut Maker to make labels for everything once it's all organized. And we're also going to make some super cute reusable grocery bags. You guys will get to see that a little bit later on. But in today's video, you will get to see me take everything out of this room. We're going to paint the walls. And then we will be adding in some shelves along the walls to get everything up off the floor and organized. We have some things in here that can come out as well we're gonna get this room 100% functional so that whenever we walk in here we can easily get to whatever we need without the trouble we live in a mobile home and our kitchen is limited on space so not only do we keep our pantry items in here but we also have our chest freezer in here as well if you're new to my channel this video is part of a series I'm doing right now I'm completely renovating my mom's mobile home I'll leave all the other videos linked down below of all the rooms that I've done so far so that you can catch up if you miss those to get started I'm gonna take everything out of this room that I possibly can we were having to put everything into the living room and we ended up running out of space so I had to take half out work with one side of the room and then move the rest of the stuff around as I work So now it's time to start covering this ugly yellow color on the walls. I want to paint the walls the same gray color we used in our kitchen. And for the doors, we're going to do white. This alone is going to make a big difference in here. But before I begin to paint, I'm going to go along the holes in the walls and get those patched up. Because this is the pantry utility space, I'm not too worried about removing the strips from the walls. I've been doing that in my renovations, but I just didn't feel that it was necessary for this room. It's not a room that we will walk into and sit or be in for any lengths of time. It's just to serve as a space for our overflow things. So I skipped removing the strips for this room. If it were any other room, I would remove the strips because that really makes a mobile home look less like a trailer and more like a home. As for the flooring, I talked about this in my last video, but we have plans to have professionals come in once we have all of the rooms done. So that will be the very last thing that is done. I saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh but then you came and sat right next to me Your eyes they glowed and filled me up We had never met before that time But I just knew that we'd end up You took it, you, you took it Took away my loneliness So I know it, I, I know it You're making me wholehearted Together, two together Together it's always better I don't want to be parted You're making me wholehearted You're making me, you're making me wholehearted We jumped off the subway leading cold around me I heard you say that everything is alright but how did you know how I felt you saw right through me that day I was lost in space but you
So here we are halfway through the paint job. So now I need to start moving everything from this side of the room so that I can begin painting over here. It took about three coats of white on the doors and two coats of gray on the walls to cover up all of that yellow. So it is a brand new day now. All the painting is finished. So now we can begin assembling the shelves. I ended up moving the pantry and the freezer from this wall and this will be where we put the shelves. We will have two of this size that I'm putting together now and one slimmer one that we'll put by the door as you walk in. We got these metal heavy duty shelves from Lowe's. They were pretty easy to put together and they could hold a good bit of weight. So we knew that these would be the way to go. If I can find them, I will link them down below. As I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by Cricut. I have absolutely had the pleasure of working with them on this video. So if you're wondering what a Cricut is, a Cricut is a smart cutting machine. They have several machines, but the machine that I have is the Cricut Maker. If you're looking for a machine with versatility, this is the one. The Cricut Maker cuts over 300 materials anything from paper to fabric to thicker materials like mat board, leather, and thin woods. You can cut things like vinyl stickers and iron-on transfers, which I'll be doing today, cardstock so you can make a DIY cards for any special occasion. You can cut burlap, canvas. Another thing is infusible ink, which I'm super excited about. The machine can draw out any design with infusible ink markers and then you can heat transfer it. Today I'm working on making us some reusable shopping bags that we actually need for when we go to Aldi and some labels for the room so that I can label our storage containers. And for this I will be using vinyl. So how it works is there is a software called Cricut Design Space and that's where you go to create your designs. You have many fonts to choose from. So this is where you can be creative with your design. With the Cricut Maker, there's so much you can do with this machine, which I think is number one great for if you're looking to start your own business to sell the things that you create. This machine is like the ultimate powerhouse for that. Even for personal use, just the fact that I can make my own home decor, which really excites me. Shirts for the kids that they sometimes need last minute. Personalized gifts, cards for special occasions without having to buy those things. I think the machine is a great investment and will definitely 
pay for itself in the long run and they're continuously expanding their tools so that the machine can do even more. And if you're planning to do heat transfers or iron on vinyl, I recommend the Easy Press. You can set the temperature and timer to exactly what you need for your project. And then underneath I have the heat mat to protect my surface. So I got these canvas bags off of Amazon. I'll link them down below. I'm just laying my bag down onto the mat, placing my design right where I want it, layering it with some parchment paper, and then I can put the easy press on top. You want to apply just a small amount of pressure until the timer goes off, and then you just want to let it cool before you peel away the transfer tape. And if it tries to come up on you, just apply a little bit more heat and pressure for just a couple more seconds, and then it should peel away. Within minutes, I had some really cute shopping bags for our trips to Aldi. Another thing I really enjoyed were the vinyl stickers. I made this one for my coffee cup which was a lot of fun but I'm also going to make some labels here in a bit which you guys will see when I start putting the room back together but they really made the room aesthetically pleasing to the eye and just made my organization pop. So just to kind of show you guys how I store my Cricut accessories, I use my Happy Planner case pockets for all of my Cricut tools and markers so that they aren't scattered all over the place. And then I found this container for my vinyl at Hobby Lobby. Alright guys, so it has been a few days. We finally got all of the shelving in here. We've got two of these wider, larger ones here on this wall. They pretty much take up the whole wall. There's a little bit of room there in the corner. But on this wall, we have the same kind of shelf. It's just not as wide. And that's what we have like all of our canned goods and stuff like that on. We have been putting stuff back in here. Um, it's still not how we want it. It's not as organized as we need it. I think we pretty much have everything back in here. It just needs to be organized a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to organize the best I can and we're going to label our bins so we know what is in each bin. I'm hoping to be able to put our cleaning supplies somewhere here on this shelf because right now they're just stored in my mom's bathroom on a bookshelf so it would be really nice if we could get all of our cleaning supplies in here as well so anyways I just wanted to update you guys really quick but let's go ahead and get to organizing so what I'm doing here is transferring the seasonal decor from this gray bin to a clear bin we already had two other seasonal clear bins so to make it more uniform, when I store it on the shelf, I'm making all three of them clear bins and we can use this gray one for something else. This big blue bin has all of our Christmas decor in it. It was a little bit too big to go between the shelves, so I just stuck it at the very top. I'm just sticking my labels onto my seasonal bins really quick. I was so in love with how these turned out. You can use whatever font you want. So to me, it just looks so much nicer than a traditional label and they actually last longer.
And just as I was hoping, we were able to store our cleaning supplies in here and get those out of the bathroom. So I ordered a set of these clear storage containers from Amazon. I'll link them down below. And I'm categorizing the cleaners into four different categories. I have one for kitchen cleaners, one for dusting, one for antibacterial, and one for multi-surface cleaners. Right, guys here we go with a quick before I always like to show this right before I show the after result it's so satisfying watching it go from one extreme to the other it went from a room of chaos that we dreaded to even walk in to now be in a room we don't mind going into we can easily find what we need and even more so we can actually walk into the room and not just through a tiny trail everything is in order and labeled this is going to make it extremely convenient during the holidays when we go to decorate because everything is right here and easy to access. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check out my other makeover videos down below and make sure to subscribe because I have more coming. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.